rate is skewed toward those who are making more money because they are paying, they're hitting hit by that higher income tax bracket than others. The challenge for Republicans is going to be, how do you sell this, right, mm -hmm. number one? How do you pay for it, number two? There's going to be arguments that you could offset the cost through other ways. And this also might just be the opening salvo. This could be the beginning conversation of, well, do you ratchet up the in uh, sales tax, I'm sorry, to offset some of the lost income tax revenue? There are all kinds of possibilities. One thing we know is Governor Evers does not want to do <laughs> any of any this of stuff. Any of this, right. Mm -hmm. So how much Republicans wedded to this idea, or is this just kind of the opening piece of the debate, the negotiations over tax cuts for this budget. And it kind of is, because I spoke to Senator Lemahieu this morning, right after this bill came out, and he noted, because I asked him, I mean, well, how do you plan to make up the difference in revenue with such an expensive plan, right? Well, he, of course, noted there's a $7 billion surplus towards the end of, you know, 2026, so it costs roughly around $5 billion. But he also said other states that have a flat tax, he said that they have seen as sales tax revenues and other revenues go up, more people will have more money to spend. You know, it will also, you know, if you're seeing reductions, well, then maybe you spend that elsewhere throughout your community. Um, I also asked them, you know, what about paying for roads uh, down the line? How are you going to do that? Um, didn't really have a clear-cut answer on that, but he also said, you know, this is kind of just a start. You know, we hope to convince the governor to do this. That's why he also said he changed it from original was floating uh, around 3.5 percent for a flat tax. He went down to 3.25. Um, but, you know, the governor already seems to not be interested in this, but is there somewhere when it comes to budget negotiations where they can maybe meet in the middle. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate.